All right, I had some guys asking about a surge problem, so let's talk about surging. On the deuce, when I run into a problem with surging, usually I start with the in-tank pump assembly. I check the line, well, first make sure the pump runs. Make sure the foot is on it if you've got to pull the pump out of the tank. I will check and or replace the line from the pump to the top of the assembly. They're known to collapse, come apart, get pinholes in them from cracks, all kinds of nasty stuff. So that's a good place to start if you haven't been in your tank yet. After that, of course, like I've said plenty of times, check or change all your filters. A plugged filter can cause a surge. Um, that's the number one place I start anytime a truck's having a running issue of any sort. Then you've got three more sub-assemblies. You've got your secondary and final filter head, your boost pump, which is broken down here for you to see in a minute, and lastly the pump itself. So if your in-tank pump is running good, it's all in good condition, the line's good, you've changed your fuel filters, you're still having a surge issue, the next place I usually go is your bypass valve or pressure relief valve on the filter head on the side of the motor. It's a, I think it's a 7 8 nut. They're different, some are 3 quarters, some are larger. This is off an LDS, off of my LDS, so. Uh, but there are a couple of different types that I've seen. Inside it, it's just a plug, a spring, it's sealed with an O-ring. So they leak there a lot. And then, well, of course, bounce out of the sight. You've got a mild steel valve, which has to seat into aluminum and seal properly. Otherwise, you end up with fuel pressure bleed off. And as you can see, they do rust. They don't seal. It's uh, always a good thing to check, even if your truck is running all right or you think it is running all right. That can cause a power loss or, in some cases, a surge. Um, but this is essential. This is there for a reason. So if your filters start to plug up and your boost pump will not uh, <laughs> blow the seals out and cause a hell of a fuel leak. But uh, it's also there so when you shut it down, of course there will be a little bit of a surge in pressure from the boost pump still running but the pump not actually drawing any fuel to put into the motor. So that pressure relief will relieve that pressure and put it back into the tank through the return lines. It's a secondary cause it's there for. If that doesn't do it, the next thing I go to is the boost pump itself because that is a real pain to get to. You can get it apart like this with the boost pump still mounted on the pump in the truck. But it's really nice to just take the boost pump off, which you've got to unbolt the motor and jack it up to get it out. Um, Inside, you'll find the main plug, which uh, if you look at it, your fuel inlet is on the bottom. I have seen them plumbed in in the side, but that's not proper. Uh, it should come in through the bottom port on the left-hand side. Then the fuel feeds through both holes on the sides of this. You can see what I do with my trucks is the ports are very small to begin with. I open them up with a quarter inch uh, drill bit and then I chamfer them just so you get a little better fuel flow. Uh, it only takes a few minutes and it's, well, no reason not to do it. It can't not help. Uh, <clears throat> also check your O-ring. You see this one is flattened so there is fuel getting by that. That's why this boost pump is not on a truck. Then you've got your bypass valve sealing washer. It's just a fiber washer, very delicate. They break often. And your funky little weird valve. Um, usually you don't have to worry about any of this. When you pull this apart, you'll find it 
completely full of trash that gets by the primary filter. Uh, it's just sludge and all kinds of crap pours out and you can usually clean that out and put it back together and you'll be running again like you should. Uh, anyway, as far as the boost pump goes, that's all you really need to know. Uh, after that, if you still have a surge issue, then that would go to either the plunger and the hydraulic head starting to get worn out and fail, which is, as you know, pretty common on these trucks. Or, and this is more rare actually, the piston in there, which is run by oil pressure, is starting to leak by and it will leak by and your armature will move and it will seal again and build pressure again the armature will move back where it should and so on so on that's what causes your surge now if you're having an issue with any of your bypass valves the reason it's causing that surge is because the valve is opening closing building pressure losing pressure and from the boost point on, you've got 40 to 80 pounds of pressure depending on your motor model. LDS has more pressure than the LDT. Um, you're losing pressure in the fuel cavity inside this pump that feeds the hydraulic head. And it's, it's not that hard to explain, but uh, when your hydraulic head is sitting on the pump, you've got an O-ring here and an O-ring here. Under this is oil. Here is fuel. Fuel is fed in through here. That's your fuel feed plate. Let's see if I can get something to manipulate it with. So, moving this up and down is what covers and uncovers your spill port on the hydraulic head plunger, which I have one here. This little tiny hole right there, that's your spill port. So the amount of fuel you're getting is governed by how long this port is exposed during the stroke, which is governed by where this fuel plate sits, where it is up or down. And that right there is controlled by the movement of this, where it is. So when you're losing pressure here in your main feed to the spill port, lose pressure, gain pressure, of course you're gonna get more fuel or less fuel out of the injector lines. So your idle is gonna bounce. And uh, I guess that's about the best way I can explain that. So there are a few painful things that can cause a surge and it can be a pain to track down but always start with the easiest and cheapest first some of these fixes don't cost anything just check them and move on until you find what the problem is thanks